I'm a Casey, and I'm in a volume.com studio right now, and I'm joined by a band you hear a lot of around these parts and a band you can actually see tonight over at the Basement East. I'm talking about the Sheepdogs. Hello, Sheepdogs. Good day. How hey, we doing? Hey. We, we good? I, I always get nervous because, like, and I said this the other day when somebody was in here, it was like two people and me, and I'm in here with five dudes right now. And I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm going to be really honest with you. So very, very dude heavy. It, it's very dude heavy, but if, if at any point, if we, if, we, if we start to not get along, please tell me ahead of time, okay? Because there's way more of you than there are me. Yeah. So, Basement East tonight, right? Looking forward to it. Back on the road playing shows, right? Yeah, we're in the middle of like a 50 some show tour, and we're primed and ready to go we're firing on all cylinders we're really uh we're, we're great tell us uh, <laughs> tell, man i like that i get confidence there there is electricity crackling in this room right now that's i like right. that you might even say lightning yep oh see oh. see <laughs> look at you that, that's what <laughs> never mind uh tell us a little bit about the the band that's opening to boy golden uh, they've been out with you on this run yeah. too right they're a great band from uh, winnipeg they're like very steeped in like classic rock and country, but they kind of have a fresh indie bent on it. So it's kind of the greatest of all worlds. It's modern. It's old. It's they're really worth your time. Boy Golden from Winnipeg. Sounds like they're pulling from all the right wells. Right? Totally. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead because I know you got some music came out earlier this year. and playing a lot of it here on the radio station, and let's give people a little sample of what's going to happen tonight over at Basement East. What do you want to play for us? This little tune called "Find the Truth." That goes like this. Oh, no, I'm just letting it breathe. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. We're, we're not going to go straight from, you know, that to just some dude going, ah, sheepdogs. I mean, we got to let that breathe a minute, right? Well, that's what we're used to that, I guess. Okay. When we the radio. Well, yeah. so now that we've done it, ah, sheepdogs here on Line 100, hanging out in the volume.com studio for tonight's show. 
out at the Basement East. The Out of Sight album came out uh, this past June. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah? See, a great album. We played a few things from it here on the radio That's station. Standard. People seem to be digging it, right? I hope so. We, we labor. <laughs> we they, labor keep asking us, they keep asking us to go play places. I, I hope they liked it, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal. We're not out here to uh, have you know rocks thrown at us on stage. So. I would certainly hope not. No. No. That probably would hurt after a while, I would think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're pretty tough, but not that tough. <laughs> But there's no need to prove it, right? No, no, of course not. <laughs> right on. Sheepdogs here on Line 100. And I saw, and I think it's been, I think it's come up here fairly like the last couple of days, you guys did an interview with, uh, is it Vinyl District? And you were telling road stories. Does that sound familiar at all? S vaguely. Um, yes. Maybe uh, there was a story about uh, Spanish gang police. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, see, so, so, so yeah. everybody's like, oh, yeah, we know that story. <laughs> well, that we, yeah, a, a few, basically the, the gist of it is we were, some of us were uh, at a bar late in Spain until about 2 a.m. is mm -hmm. Zaragoza or Zaragoza, as they say over there. And uh, we were approached by two people as we were walking down the alleyway. We were smoking a little something. And they stopped us, a man and a woman, and they weren't dressed in uniforms, but they had some badges that they flashed at us. And my brother Seamus, he uttered the immortal words, they're not cops. And so we just like, a brouhaha erupted and we were like scrapping with them. And like, I shoved the guy on the wall and we like left him alone. We we're like, ah, screw you guys or whatever. And then they kind of like yelled some Spanish into their like little rocky talkies and like, you know, the whatever Spanish is for swarm, swarm. Like, <laughs> and then like 15, you know, Uniforms showed up and, and had us up against the wall. So, so it turns out they were cops. <laughs> they were in fact yeah, cops. They were, you know, usually and and I you know I don't can't, can't claim to have the best stories in the world, but usually a story that at some point in the story somebody goes, they're not cops. Something bad's about to happen to somebody in that story. I usually. know. I know. We're lucky we didn't get a. a I don't know, detained worse than we did. So. I mean, they basically let they saw you were a Canadian and let you off, right? After a while, they they tried to like threaten us and then you know uh, then like she's like making me write down like my parents names and that's when I was like all right you know I'm in my 30s I'm not you know a teenager here right, and did they think we're, we're I'm assuming your family doesn't live in Spain right no no so were they close. just gonna come pick you up I mean was that my, da my mom would be really uh, annoyed if she had to come to Spain and pick me up <laughs> I would imagine so man that's an evening Sheepdogs here on Lightning 100 talking all things Spanish gangs and uh, shows out of the Basement East coming up tonight, too. One thing I like about this band is every time, every interview, everything, there is always a mention of old school rock and roll. And oh. it's said with such, like, pride and just, like, that's the thing. I love that you guys champion that old school sound so much. We, we believe in it. We think it's, you know, I don't know, the, you know, when you look at, things like there's like just eras of like architecture or like classic cars or interior design or styles of food we just think that that rock and roll of the 60s and 70s yeah. in particular it's just very special and it's just a style that needs to stick around you know and we're all for other kinds of music but it's what we love and so we're just trying to like i guess preserve it maybe a little bit in our own way but doing it you know, our own songs just in that style. Yeah. It's amazing to me, too, when you go back and you listen to old records, like the the stuff that did not exist back then that people take for granted now, some yeah. of the things that make records sound really good as opposed to people going into a room and just making a good record. Computers. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to, be, trying to be polite about it. But, yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. And you just think about some of the stuff that people made with now what we would say is nothing. That, that old school sound, man. I love that stuff so much. I've been having this conversation with Boy Golden, our opener, because they use, you know, tape machines and mm -hmm. things like that. I think if the Beatles were around today, they would always find a way to max out technology. Mm -hmm. Like, they were taking multiple tape sheet machines and putting them together. I think they would, like, record a thousand tracks into, like, a computer, and they would just, like, somehow... Like yeah. recruit NASA to like <laughs> somehow come in with a supercomputer. Elon Musk would be right. involved. Like they would just be going nuts. For some reason there's there's a big tuning fork <laughs> stuck in like the middle of Bolivia for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they they like technology. Like they love embracing it and yeah. just try to find the you know push it to the limits. So who knows? Okay, good. Of course, at the end of the day, they're all just tools, right? They are absolutely are, yeah. <laughs> right on. Those are tools. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here on Ring Lightning. <laughs> Wait, was that the, uh, believe me, they've, they've heard far worse than, no, oh, never mind. All right, um, I guess uh, we're talking a lot about music. I guess we should probably listen to some. You want to do another song for us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is the next song on the record. Um, <laughs> Train professionals. Train oh, professionals. Yeah. Good work. All right. Did you hit the cough button for that one? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to cough. <laughs> there we go. We're fine. All, All right. right. This is called uh, I Want to Know You. Hit it, Ricky.
Yes, don't you just spin me around It'll gas her up I'm gonna blow this town Come on Find a place we can't be found No secret stars around Feet marching on the Something's still ringing. I hear it. <laughs> All right, we good? Yeah. Okay, um, cool. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sheepdogs here on Line 100 here in the Volume.com studio. Show coming up tonight at the Basement East. Uh, boy, Golden going to be a part of that one, too. Uh, getting ready to tour. Going to be all over. The, you guys are going to be out for still got a little while to, to go. That's the end tour. of the year, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And I saw um, you're getting ready to play in places called Purgatory and the Spider House. So yeah. please be careful. <laughs> please be. <laughs> and y'all spookier as we get towards I, Halloween. I was going to say, you know what time of year it is? Just be, you, you guys, any, are you going to like go out dressed up like Kiss or anything for Halloween? I've That's got the, Halloween off. Actually, speaking of Kiss, Ryan dressed up like... Uh, who Ace Frehley? Yeah, yeah. we did New York. Nice. The, the, the great thing about New York is you can walk around with full on kiss uh, makeup and not one person even said something. Yeah. Right <laughs> so like, oh, there's yeah. Ace Frehley. What's for lunch? It'd be yeah. pretty fun. That'd be a pretty good one. We've actually like we've never done the full band yeah. on stage costume before. So we have the day off. So maybe we'll just have to go out in the town. There you go. Yeah. Dressed, uh, dressed <laughs> up. And, and see that way, if you do it on a day off, if it doesn't go well. People won't know it was a sheepdog. No it's not going to mess up, yeah, yeah, mess up yeah. a show. Yeah. Perfect. All right. <laughs> People want to find you online, see where you're playing, maybe get some merch. Where can we find you? The sheepdogs.com, all the usual spots. We're easy to find. So there you go. If it was any easier, it would just be too hard, right? That's right. Thank you so much, guys. Safe travels. Appreciate you being here tonight. Basement East, along with Boy Golden. It's the sheepdogs.